Hello everybody and welcome to Victoria 2, or welcome back rather. That was kind of exciting. I don't know why I said welcome. This is, you know, episode 46. This isn't exactly a new thing. <laughs> but we're at 97% literacy. We're getting 65 research points every single day. 65.03, in fact. Our clerks are coming up. And what is going on over here? Dutch nationalists? Frankish communists? I'm in favor of this. Well, not the nationalism portion, but the communism portion, absolutely. We can make a state. And so we shall. Also, our truce with France is going to be up relatively soon. Specifically, our truce is up on 17 January 1908. So we have a little bit under two years here when we can begin... Hello, San Francisco earthquake. We can begin justifying on France again. And we're going to take more from them. We've taken a lot, but we're going to take even more. Suffragettes are striking, and I'm in favor of that. Release her and let us be done with the affair. Like, we literally have universal suffrage. <laughs> Can we just give women the right to vote? That would be nice. Apparently not. That, that appears to not be a thing that we can do. I do want to check in on our factories, of course, as I have been. This actually looks fine. I'll just go ahead and get that upgrading. But we are not going to have a shortage of craftsmen over here. Hello. We can actually make another factory here. I want to make an aeroplane factory. And I also want to create... I would love to create a tank factory. Unfortunately, we don't have the invention for a tank factory. So I think we're going to go for a fuel refinery instead. And we'll also get North Macedonia's factories all upgrading. Wonderful. Okay, so there's that in progress. We're also working on our technology. Our army tab here, we're not going to get anything until 1914. So that'll be a while yet. The navy tab, we are completely ignoring because I don't like navies. And the commerce tab... We are just about done with this penultimate row. The culture tab, of course, we're going to be in a similar situation. We only need two techs here. And I think we'll probably go for the max national focus one first, just so that we can get more clerks. And then on the industry tab, I mean, we're just going to start working on these very last techs. But we need to get these technologies in ASAP. Isn't there at least one MP living thereabouts? Actually, they become more reactionary. Mm. We're going to take the consciousness, I guess. Sad. But yeah, we, we literally have every reform. <laughs> it would be very nice to just, uh, to, to just allow suffrage. Universal franchise. Very nice. What is our voters' percent here? Okay, so people like protectionism. That's great. Planned economy. Wonderful. Full citizenship, secularized, and atheism. That's not terrible, considering the communist faction's policies. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. We're now up to 65.06 .06 and 97.2% literacy. Going up by 0.2% per month. So as I, as I said before, that's like 10 months per percent. So you figure we need 30 months minus one. So 29 months. There's our management strategy done. And actually, I want to be ticking forward right now. So what is this? Um... Ah, more education for women. So our erudites are intimidated by the female intellect? Ah, that seems right. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I said that we wanted to get revolution and counter-revolution over here. Now that's a lot of inventions. That's actually some really good inventions for us. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. We're definitely going to go down that route. Additional prestige. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
The Netherlands exist now. Give me that sweet, sweet prio. Okay. Let's sort by that prio. And let's check in on Frankia. Because we're going to need to sphere Netherlands as well. But Frankia here is also currently sphered. We need to continue to improve relations with them. Okay. Now these are communists. And we are in favor of the communists enforcing their, their desires. We don't really care too much about the Netherlands. In fact... Should we just conquer the Netherlands? How many states is this? What is this? This is Holland. This is three provinces in three separate states. That's a little gross. We could just add them to our sphere. It's an option. Or make puppet is probably the one that we'd want to do, now that I think about it. We'll go ahead and start working on that workle. And we may want to work on one in Frankia too, but we can't do it simultaneously. So that'll take a little bit of time. That'll be fine. I do want to check in on this situation here. Okay. I kind of want to hold off on building more factories because I really would like the ability to make tank factories. We have a 3% chance every day of getting that invention. It's a pretty low chance, but there's a lot of day ticks. So hopefully we'll get that pretty soon because I want to start really cranking out the, uh, the tank factories. And ideally, starting to replace our... Dragoons with tank tank units. That would be ideal. And then we'll be able to work on that in Hearts of Iron, but we definitely, definitely need... Oh! A war to end all wars. It has become increasingly clear that we've entered a new era of unprecedented warfare. The conflicts of our time are no longer mere local issues, but instead reach every corner of the world. Considering the ever-increasing stakes and the terrifying impact of these hostilities on the, nation, the nations involved, there's no longer any need for restraint. From now on, a great war will allow a side that is clearly winning the ability to add even more war goals. Okay. Is us fighting France? I don't believe that counts as a great war. When it's one great power versus one great power, I think it has to be at least two great powers on each side. The Nola air area has been under Ethiopian control for some time. Yeah, it's becoming our uh, core. That's perfect. We do still have about 29 years and one month left in this particular, this particular game, this particular chapter of the Mega Campaign. Excellent. I really do believe that we're going to max out this tech tree. So that would be great. And I wonder what happens to the tech points when that happens. I've never had the tech or the tech tree fully maxed out before. It'll be interesting to see. Okay, our attempt was con was just detected, but that only costed us 3.5 infamy. Not that we care. How's our justification at? 66%. Okay. So, let's get a couple of armies in position here. They only have... See, that's Frankia there. I was hoping that we'd be able to position here, but Frankia is definitely awkwardly positioned for us. We're going to have to enter from over here. So, we have two armies over here. Yeah, that would be the plan. So, I know I said that I really like the, uh, 
I, I really like the battle planner, and I do. I, I truly do like it. However, I haven't really been using it. We're going to make a plan here, just because I like to use it. So essentially what we're going to do is we are going to have... That is way too big of an arrow. No, not that battle plan. I want to delete that arrow. There we go. Let's have a slim arrow. So essentially this army will come in like this. I don't like this color either. Uh, let's go for yellow. That's a little bit easier to see. Or maybe green. Green will probably do fine, considering that's the color of these guys. And then you... Okay, we need to go back into our arrows here. You will come in, not technically like this, but the idea is that these guys will come in here, and then these guys will come in from here, just like that, and just immediately crush them. I really like the battle plan editor. I just... Because it's not really in the other games, other than Hearts of Iron, where it's an actual mechanic. Because it's not there in other games, I'm, I just never really get used to using it. But I love having it there to visualize invasion plans. So I, I need to work on that, on using this more frequently, so that people know what, what the actual plan is. Now, we're not actually going to invade this from sea. We're just going to march straight through, but that's just for visualization purposes, so it's a little clearer. Excellent. Revolution and counter-revolution will be done soon enough, and we're going to have to do a similar thing to Frankia, and I think we're going to uh, justify on it immediately after this is complete, and it is. Wonderful. We can't justify against a country that is in our sphere. Okay. We're going to unsphere them, and then we'll need to wait until 2 March. Now, I do want to go ahead and declare on Netherlands. So we will declare, make puppet. Excellent. In we go. Following the battle plan. And at this point, honestly, we can, we can get rid of this battle plan. It is no longer relevant. Excellent. Is that going to be a stack wipe? We lost a couple of generals. Looks like it was a stack wipe. Fantastic. Okay, so we now have access to an additional national focus, and I kind of want to grab a relatively high pop province. Like, we're already working in our capital state, right? Actually, we're not working in our capital state. We want to encourage clerks. Excellent. So we now have six clerk encouragements happening. And how are we doing on that clerk? Clerkage. We're a ways away yet. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and grab Expressionism to finish off the penultimate row in Culture. And that'll be great. We'll be at that same point for Army and Commerce and Industry, so... We'll be able to just start working through this down over here. We want more battles? I didn't expect there to be more battles. Oh, I guess they probably just raised troops. And we should definitely, now that we unsphered these guys, they're allied with the Republic of China, though. Do we care? I don't know how much we care. Because we can probably do something like this. Ooh, hello, tax efficiency. That means that we can cut our taxes. Our taxes are almost at the minimum level allowed for the communist faction. Now they are at the minimum level allowed. Okay, let's finish this up, and then we'll discuss what the plan is for Frankia. So we should be at 100% war score here now. Yes, indeed, we are. They will become our puppet. Excellent. Excellent. We can create a state, and so we shall. There we go. So these guys are now our puppet. So they they are our satellite. Wonderful. Now, we have a diplomat en route there. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and back off. And we're going to park something like this. 
Because the idea here is that we want to be able to take this out in an incredibly swift stroke and puppet them in exactly the same way. Now, Poland is just our sphere. We'll have to conquer them eventually. And we're going to have to do something about France, too. So, let's move some troops around here. Let's see, you are moving to there. That's fine. These guys are not technically in the same army. Let's let them group up. There we go. Okay, so, Francia has these three separate areas. This one is comprised of two provinces. So, let's go ahead and create ourselves a new battle plan. And this this will be fine, just leaving this as is. These guys will come in like that. And then over here, this area is four. Why are you a 48? Okay, you just need to regen. That's fine. You'll have time. This army can come over here. And no... I meant to do that. Okay. This army will come up over here. Okay. So the idea then would be this army attacks here. This army attacks here. Not via France, but that's just to indicate as before. It'll go in through Brussels. And then this army, which is going here, will then attack this region. We're going to need another army here. And we're going to need it to attack there. That would be that idea. Now then, we have this area right here. We're going to need to attack from Rotterdam. And we're going to need to attack from there as well. So we're going to need armies in those locations. We'll need an army there. And we will need an army there. Now I believe... Yes, that is all of Francia handled. So Francia should fall incredibly swiftly. The question is just how much war score are we going to get out of that? Hello, Communist Rebel Organization Gains. Wonderful. This army is actually not necessary for this operation. It's absolutely not. Wonderful. Okay, so that's the idea there. And then we would need to hold the line potentially against Republic of China. That said, it's probably going to take them some time to get over there. We were detected. That costs us 6.6 .6 infamy. That hurts a little. But I don't think it matters. Shall we host the fourth Olympic Games? Yes. Yes, we shall. Puts us up over 2,000 prestige. Wonderful. That's a lot of discoveries there. Netherlands threw out our advisors. Okay. That's interesting, considering they are literally our satellite. War exhaustion and reactionary rebel organization gain. Mobilization impact. Permanent prestige. Still no tanks. I'm a little upset about that. Ever so slightly upset, anyway. We're just waiting on that war justification. That's that's what's happening here. We're 60% we're done with it. When is it going to be done? 58 more days? Okay. Anti-egalitarianism. Okay, citizen guards and war exhaustion reductions. Let's check in on our first rank of factories here. Aha. Uh -huh. For right now... All I'm going to do is expand factories. I'm not going to build any additional factories over here. Because I want to build tank factories. I want to be outputting quite a lot of tank factories, in fact. Excellent. We are going to need those tank factories, that is. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to get tanks quite yet. We're getting there. 3% chance every single day. 
We're also going to be able to justify on France relatively soon. Okay. The legal status of women would need to be regulated, or this man has no future in the Ethiopian army. And that is true. Wait, hang on. What is happening here? This may not be true. They would be... They'd be becoming 5% more conservative, and that's probably not what we want. Yeah, we want it to be more liberal right now. That's better for us than conservative, even though it's not ideal. We are, of course, attempting to go communist. Shall we host a regional trade fair? For 250 pounds, do it. Like, that is an irrelevant amount of cash. <laughs> Oh, an international crisis in Manitoba, huh? That's going to be interesting. What are they looking for? Newfoundland is trying to acquire Manitoba. We don't seem to be able to support this side... Possibly because we're already supporting it? Ah, they were asking us to back their side. Now, Ojibwa is a great power. But they only have 252 military. We have 3,500. We have 3,500? Holy crap, how did that happen? Republic of China is actually a thousand below us. Okay. Ojibwa wants to settle the crisis in our favor. Proceed. Wonderful. Diplomatic expansion. Through one of our... I mean, they're not technically our satellite. They're actually in Ojibwa's sphere. <laughs> but anything that weakens Ojibwa, I'm 100% okay with. When is that justification done? It is done. Okay, factory input tech... It just finished. Okay, so if we declare this, which we're going to, we declared on Francia, and now I would love to justify on France, but uh, we still have a truce with them, but we already have our battle plan here. We're going to go in here and here. We are having you go there, and 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 you go there. Excellent. So there's our invasion. It looks like a mess, but it will crush them incredibly swiftly to the point where I suspect either China will not join at all or they will be crushed swiftly enough that China is irrelevant. China has joined. That's okay. We have already crushed the Frankish army. Well, technically the battle is still ongoing. Now we have crushed the Frankish army. Okay. Well, there is our expressionism finishing up. We will go ahead and next. Honestly, I think we grab electrical power generation, factory throughput, mining output, farming output. It's all good. Yeah, that's all great, actually. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's check in on our eastern border and see if China is performing any shenanigans yet. They're invading up here. I don't care. They can invade up there all they want. Because we are occupying this very, very quickly. We're nearly done. We'll get rid of the worst clergy troublemakers. Okay, more cores. That's fantastic. What's our war score at? It's only 7% technically. I was hoping that we'd see more than that, but we'll allow this occupation to finish up. 
Now we do have a lot of forces over here, that is true. I do want to group all of these up over here. It's only a 24k stack. We could probably use nine units of infantry over here. So we'll go ahead and get one, two, three, four. Population isn't that high over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I get one too many there? I may have. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I did. Okay. Wonderful. Now, as far as fighting off China goes, they don't have that many troops up there. I think that this group of five armies should be sufficient to fight them off on that front. Otherwise... Let's see what we got. We're winning additional battles. That's to be expected. And we're getting these occupations done. Okay, as far as I know, Frankia is now fully occupied. And that's only 13% war score, apparently. Well, that's going to be interesting. We'll have ticking war score. But uh, we'll have to actually fight... China a little bit. That said, China is quite weak compared to us. So, oh, they've uh, reserved or they've mobilized their reserves. Okay, they are pretty scared. Then let's just go ahead and mobilize some of our non-reserves. Oh, hello. Group that up. There we go. We'll just do something like that. And we'll station them off in this region. We're going to have to spread them out later. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will work on fighting some of these uh, Chinese forces. And hopefully get this war wrapped up. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.